I will be teaching you how to actually forget about that person that broke your heart, that person that broke your trust, that person that literally ruined your entire life or what it feels like. I'm going to tell you how to actually get over them the real way because honestly, it's not cute. It's not healthy. It's not like anything attractive to really be obsessed and heartbroken over someone yes i know love is love it really does feel like your whole like body and spirit is being ripped out of you because they're not there i think some of these options are healthy and some of them might not be the healthiest but i think all these options are the most effective and i'm gonna be the most honest because when you are heartbroken listening to someone just tell you all this advice honestly doesn't work all the time right you're probably in your bed you probably haven't eaten a proper meal in weeks you probably have been crying yourself to bed every single day trust me girl guy i get it i've been there it is the most awful experience of your life and having someone just say to your face like get over them get over them get over them you literally feel stuck you're like how though because i don't want to feel like this crappy and shitty my entire life so let's get straight into it how to forget about that little piece of garbage that's corrupting your brain and your life and is eating all your energy away so my first tip for you guys is to get the fuck out if you want to get better if you want to get over them you have to get out you don't need to move out you don't need to pack up your whole life and leave but what i mean is take a little trip see a different part of the world go on a three-day trip just outside of town fly to the closest country to you it doesn't need to cost that much but please babes please loves beautiful people please when you are stuck in your town every corner you turn you're just reminded about you sat at that bench with them you went to that movie theater with them you did this with them you went to that restaurant with them and it can be so overwhelming especially when you're at the beginning of it i'm telling you guys get out and just see how vast this world is because if you stay there and you stay in that space you're really only going to be breathing and living them do at least at least a good three to five days get out of your town get out of your city please for the love of life please do that because i promise you the only way i got over this dude that i was so attached to in the most unhealthiest way we were just in like this weird situation ship thing did a lot of firsts though so like keep that in mind did a lot of firsts spent literally under two months with this guy and i was obsessed for a year i was heartbroken for a year i did not know how to get over it i did not know how to move on until i literally did this and this cut everything off because when you see how big this world is you're gonna realize that this person that is breaking your heart is just one out of thousands and yes they can be special and yes you can believe in your soulmate but honestly there's billions of people out in this world and billions of people can give you that connection and be your soulmate yet again we're not just one soul i feel like we all have like different pieces of souls in us just get out travel anywhere um i personally would recommend something actually abroad like something that's a bit longer just to really like get away from it all and then the important thing is when you come back remember that this world is so big just remember that but please take your trip do that hopefully 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 that traveling really did open your eyes but if you're back and you are still hurt the next thing you can do is really to go do stuff go do shit that you've never done before like shit you're scared to do like stuff that you never ever ever thought in your entire life that you would do that but you're gonna go do it now because never in your life did you think that your heart would get broken like this nothing is gonna feel worse than this heartbreak so make yourself more uncomfortable than this heartbreaks now you've done 
all these 20 new things like you never rid a horse before when you were with them now you're riding a horse by yourself for me i did quite a bit I went to comedy shows i participated in the group work i sat on the stage i wrote poetry in a writing group i presented it on the stage like never in my life would i think i would be doing that stuff until your heart gets literally ripped out of your chest and you're like okay there's nothing left to lose because you literally lost the best the best thing ever so it's like what else is there to lose you know there's nothing that can make me feel worse than this so the thing is though when you do all these new things you're becoming a new person like the person that left you is not even gonna recognize you if they saw you in like two months after the breakup because now you've done all these new things you made all these new memories by yourself their memories kind of get pushed to the side and now you're establishing that you're your own person and you can do all these other things alone now how to do this go to places like eventbrite instagram just keep up to date with stuff and the thing is guys though you really do have to want to get better if you are in your sulking phase if you're obsessed with being sad because I was, I was obsessed with being sad. Like being sad is what made me happy. If you're in that phase, I'm so sorry, babes. There is nothing I can say or do in this video to get you out of it. But if you genuinely want to get better, please follow these steps. If you genuinely want to get better and forget this person, please go out of your comfort zone. Go talk to new people join new groups i even joined a run club just do as many new things as you can talk to as many new people and you don't even need to spend all your money doing all these programs because a lot of them are free or you can just give yourself a goal today i'm gonna go to a new cafe today i'm gonna try out this new restaurant today i'm gonna do this thing that thing whatever just change it up that is the second thing you're gonna do if you genuinely want to break off this person now the third thing you can do which i don't really recommend but a lot of people say it works and for me it works temporarily but i don't think it's a permanent permanent fix i feel like right when the, this is done you're just gonna go back to obsessing about the original person but you could get on top of someone else basically you can start going on the apps and just talking to a bunch of people and you can go out on dates and everything like that i feel like it's not the best way because i feel like you just create a new minor obsession with someone else when this period of time should really just be about obsessing over yourself like you shouldn't be obsessing about anyone else but you so when you are like on those dating apps and stuff you're kind of getting more invested in other people versus yourself but it is a very effective way if you do want to get this person out of your mind but you're not really getting toxic people out of your mind you're just filling it in with a new one sometimes they can be good experiences though like you can go on a fun date meet a new person maybe even stay friends you can have like a nice hookup or two to really just show you that there is other people that you can have a sexual connection with it is important to know that other people can sexually satisfy you and make you feel beautiful and good and pretty just like how this other person did i would say if it is still fresh like literally straight up tell yourself like you're just using this person to get over this other person like you're not meeting this person for them to be the love of your new life you know sometimes that works out and people do meet the love of their lives but you should go in thinking this person is just here temporarily just so i can get that quick satisfaction and reassurance that my sexual needs can be fulfilled because when you are with a person that has like rocked your world like that has given you everything and more in the bedroom and now you're broken up and you're like how the hell do i get this sexual attraction again trust me babes you can go on tinder go on hinge if sexual attraction is like the most prioritized thing for you literally you can i promise you i thought this guy was the only guy that could do this this way and touch me this way and talk to me this way but honestly everybody has their own flair everybody has their own style and you might even find someone that does it better or you could find someone that does it differently that you actually enjoy more you know i would also say to experience new things in the bedroom do some crazy wacky things that you and this other person never did just so you can make new memories with someone else knowing that it's a temporary person you know don't go into it being like okay i'm gonna find my husband now because you babes you're heartbroken like this is not gonna be your husband so yeah that's the third thing the fourth thing i kind of hinted at it but be obsessed 
with yourself, okay? Be obsessed with yourself. Spoil yourself. Spoil yourself for the next short period of time in ways that you never did before. Go out. If you need to, go out for dinner and dress cute every fucking night if you need to. And just order $5 fries off the menu. If that's what it takes. Like, you don't need to spend a shit ton of money just to go to a fancy place you're allowed to just order that if you wanted to and that's another thing you will be building confidence in yourself when you say may i get a table for a one you say it with your chest you say it with your head held high you say it with a loud and proud voice table for one please no no one else is coming me myself and i the group is all here like please we want to be seated but yeah be obsessed with yourself if you do feel uncomfortable being completely alone bring a book bring a notepad bring a sketch pad write down journal for me i'm an artist i would bring my ipad and draw digitally what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to these places and you are going to sit with yourself and you're also gonna go buy those hot outfits that you've always been insecure to put on you're gonna go and you're gonna put them on do your nails if you want cut your hair real cute and pretty you're gonna color it you're gonna just treat yourself like the fucking princess that you are for like a good one to three months like you are going to spoil yourself please 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 this is the perfect time to just give yourself the world like the world that this person couldn't give you you're giving it to yourself get yourself all pretty and dolled up be with yourself fight that uncomfortableness of always needing someone there with you just gonna be out of your house because when you're inside your house in your room watching videos like this on how to get over them you're just gonna be trapped and trapped and trapped and i would also recommend to go to the restaurants that you went with that person and go alone you're gonna go out of your way to purposely make a better memory like the restaurant you want for your first date you're gonna go there now and maybe you're gonna laugh it up with the bartender or you're gonna talk and have like the most beautiful conversation with your waitress or the people sitting next to you you're gonna go up to the bar you're gonna make conversation with the people who that are sitting there you're gonna go out of your way to make a better memory that's gonna replace whatever memory you had whatever subpar memory you have that you've romanticized in your brain you're gonna make a better one and if you can make multiple ones just so it'll like wash away like you're washing away that one memory with like 10 new ones you're like this restaurant isn't where we had our first kiss this restaurant is where i stubbed my toe on the table and this handsome guy caught me like you're gonna do that kind of stuff it's nice to just feel like a princess like for once when you need it the most do it another way to realize that this person that broke your heart the love of your life isn't meant for you is to literally just think if they were the love of my life if they were my soulmate they would be with me right now you know like if they were the love of my life like how i truly believe in my heart if they were they would be with me the love of my life my soulmate wouldn't not want to be with me they would be with me you know so that is another way to really click in your brain that this person is not your actual soulmate because your actual soulmate wouldn't leave you that's the whole point of a soulmate like your souls are connected in a way where you can't live without each other so if this person decided that they can live without you or they don't want to live with you then that person isn't your soulmate and that is a hard pill to swallow and it is so sad and it is so depressing but you need to give yourself that honest truth if you are my soulmate your soul would not be able to live without me but because you're now trying to live without me we are not soulmates even though my soul might feel like it we are not because your soul doesn't feel like it maybe we love each other but we are not soulmates so keep that in mind too because i honestly feel like we lie to ourselves a lot we lie to ourselves a lot um but that is one honest truth you have to tell yourself and it's gonna hurt and you're gonna cry about it you're gonna cry a lot about that actually but 
once you get those tears out and you've cried and you've like really come to terms with it you're gonna be like yeah they're not honestly i wouldn't even want my soulmate to have like a doubt in their brain well okay you're allowed to have a doubt but you're not allowed to fully make this decision and take an actual break and like leave me like the fuck like you're allowed to have your doubts like we're humans like we can always feel like hmm like like i don't know about this whatever but officially saying we're breaking up now and i want to break from you that is the should be the biggest turn off honestly building that self-strength and that self-awareness to realize that you don't even want a person that doesn't want you because why like oh it is so annoying and i'm telling you guys i'm telling you the only way you are connected with this person is because of all the sexual shit you've done in bed sleeping with them like bare chested kissing them in the morning this and that and all these shitty half-assed memories you know and moments that you guys have had tricks you into thinking that this person is your soulmate but really you're just bonded to them because you've literally slept with them naked like that is the most intimate thing you can do so that is the only reason why you feel this big connection with this person but i guarantee you babes i guarantee you if you sleep with anybody else on this planet for the time that you've been sleeping with them you would feel the exact same way so please a soulmate is not just a person you have a sexual connection with a soulmate is a person that literally cannot live without you and you cannot live without them like you would literally hate and be miserable in your life without that person in it like yes maybe you could still live your life but you want like you want them in it you want them so badly that is what a soulmate is and you choose to stay you choose to stay even when it gets hard even when you're having your doubts you choose to stay because you know deep 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 down that you want to live with this person forever for the rest of your life that is a soulmate not a person that made you come 10 times in one night that is not your soulmate that person is just someone that you now have a sexual connection with and we are also very stupid creatures and we think that that's love but really it's not love is something like that person sees you at your worst they see you at your best they see you at your crazy they see you at your weird they see you at your messed up times and they still choose to stay that I swear to God is love and also a person that can forgive like if you literally have messed up or anything like they can forgive you and you can generally work past it and obviously I don't mean like cheating but I mean like if you said something to someone that they told you to keep a secret they will go out of their way to make your relationship good they will want to reassure you they will want reassurance from you that everything is good and everything is great and you guys are moving forward together not every small fight it's a breakup then a makeup then a breakup then a makeup that is just the most toxic cycle or they get mad at you for something and they hold it over your head forever but they said they forgave you but they're holding it over your head so it's that is psychological emotional mental abuse yes maybe you messed up but if they're holding it over your head every other day after they said they forgive you they did not forgive you you did not work it out they're gonna torture you with it forever and that is not your soul mate okay last tip write your ick list write your ick list please write your ick list like write every single ick even make up some icks make up some icks because literally in three months from now when you're reading that ick list you're not gonna know which ones are real and which ones are fake okay and when you think that they did some nastier shit or some worse fucked up shit then it's gonna be easier to forget about them but for me my ick list oh my god all of it is true all of it is true it is so embarrassing how much i let slide with this dude it is literally disgusting and it's also the fact that i literally told everyone all the embarrassing shit and then he said that i lied sir i wish i lied because the shit i told people is embarrassing on my end like you look so good 
I look crazy. I look stupid, you know? Yes, you kissed me, and now I will tell. If you broke my heart, if you did me dirty in the worst way possible, I am so sorry. I do not give a shit about your reputation because you did not give a shit about me, my feelings, anything at all. So why would I give a shit about your reputation? Why would I give a shit about anything you have to say? If someone asks me about you, I will tell them everything. I will. Honestly, I will. Because... The way that I get over stuff is to talk and 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 talk myself into oblivion. And if it somehow gets back to them that this is what I said and this is what I said, this is what I said, look at what you did that got me saying this shit. And yes, I need to hold accountability and maybe be more mature, whatever, whatever. But at the same time, you literally could have just been mature too. You know what I mean? So it's like if you're immature first. I'm a match your energy and I'm gonna be even more immature. Like, you didn't give a shit about me, now I give less shits about you. It is what it is. Honestly, you can't do something garbage and not have consequences. There's consequences to that. There's consequences. And a lot of people that, like, fuck you over literally have the audacity to get mad at you for reacting to how they treated you. But honestly, they should look at themselves and be like, how the fuck? Did I treat this person for them to pop off like this? Like, what did I do? But the thing is, these people are dumb and they're not going to look at themselves. They're only going to look at you. They're only going to blame you. Like, if you're being crazy, they're only going to be like, oh my god, she's crazy. They're not going to be like, oh, I lied to her face and then started posting this other next bitch a week after we broke up. They're not going to look at that and be like... Oh yeah, like I can see how this girl's like going off and telling everyone that I'm an asshole because you're an asshole. They're gonna be like, um, in this world you catch feelings and move on. Like you catch feelings and move on. So if that's how you roll, that's how you roll, but that's not how everyone else rolls. So there's gonna be consequences to your actions. If you take a good girl, you break her heart, there's gonna be consequences and she will be obsessed and talk about you for a while and that doesn't make her crazy that makes her a fucking baddie because she had genuine feelings and you did not care at all and this is how she's gonna cope with it that's how i coped with it honestly talk to it but with everyone i'm so tired of everyone saying keep it to yourself keep it to yourself don't cry in front of other people don't do this don't do that don't do that no talk about it not nah, tell everyone tell this tell everyone tell anyone who who, who asks tell everyone because at this point, like, when everyone else is in your business, then there's no way for you to go back. And there's no way for you to get back into the toxicity because now everyone knows. And if you went back, you would look stupid. But the thing is, like, if you didn't tell anyone and you went back, you would be stupid. But nobody's going to hold you accountable to your stupidity. So if you go and tell this person and this person and this person and this person, then they're going to hold you accountable. And they're going to be like, what the fuck is this girly doing? Like, she literally told us this, this, this. I'm so happy I talked about it because this dude was so toxic and evil and manipulative. And I'm so happy. Like, yes, there were months where I wish I didn't because I would want him back. But to be honest, it was the best thing and the smartest thing. And if I could do it again, I would tell even more people because literally it is the thing that saved my fucking life because this dude was such an asshole and such a dickhead. I can't even lie. And the fact that I would literally have forgiven him um, by telling everyone, it really gives you a reality check and people clock you and they're like, what the fuck did you even do with that guy in the beginning? So talk to people, share your experience because then other people will share their experience. It might backfire because some girls that I told, who I thought were my friends, I told them this dude broke my heart. They went and started fucking him. So I'm like... It might backfire, guys, but at the end of the day, it's good because then you get to see the true characters, you know? So those girlies weren't even my friends to begin with. So honestly, just be yourself, talk about your pain, talk about your shit because we're humans and we feel things and I hate when people say, don't show weakness, don't show weakness, don't show weakness. It's not weakness to show or talk about how something bothered you. It's actually very brave and you are being open and honest with people you are being genuine it is a strong ass move to say yeah this person hurt me and they hurt me a lot 
that takes confidence bottling it in that's the pussy way out you're just suppressing everything and trying to deal with it yourself honestly other people can help you so much yes i had some people turn on me and make things 10 times worse but then i had so many other people that made everything 10 times better and knocked even more sense into me you know talk about your feelings talk about them talk about them post them ask people talk to strangers literally like talk 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 until you can't talk anymore if you're that type of person if you're the type of person that doesn't like to talk about their stuff then that's fine but if you're the type of person that likes to talk and share about any single feeling that they have like me don't suppress it talk talk and you will see your real friends from your fake ones because your fake friends are going to start picking on you making jokes on you about how much you're talking about it but your real friends will be there for you and they will listen and hear you talk about it and they will help you get through it because that's what friends should also be for to help you get through the good times and the bad times but also respect them and don't make every hangout fucking miserable don't try to be an energy sucker don't make it always about you yes you can talk about how you're still hurting and stuff but also ask about them too don't forget that your friends are still going through shit too just because you're heartbroken doesn't mean that you just throw all your friends' feelings out the window and you just talk about yourself all the time nah you still need to listen to them too you still need to ask your friend questions too yeah talk 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 it out get it out of your chest cry it out sometimes too honestly the second you feel an inch, a sliver, a sliver of a tear, put on some Adele and cry that shit out for three hours. I promise you. I promise you. The second you feel a sliver of a tear, scream cry, ugly cry that shit out. Because the thing is, if you keep it inside, like if you keep it inside, I swear to God, it'll be inside you for longer. The second you start crying, 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 crying it out so you can't breathe anymore, that is gonna be a time where you're like, okay, I'm done. I'm done crying now. Like, let's move on. I'm bored, you know? So yeah, those are all my tips on how to get over them. Please please girlies please boys please loves please beautifuls please 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 follow this video please to get better follow my tips i promise you they will work because it is 2024 it is about to be 2025 we are some young ass people here we do not have time you do not want to be like me and waste a year of your life sulking you know like you don't want that life is too short i realize like there's so much you can see and do than to just be sitting around being sad like i realized like instead of doing that i literally could have just traveled i'm gonna be honest the first thing i told you guys is probably the most effective thing if you don't have money for it work get a job save your money and do it because i'm telling you that is the best way and it is the most long-term fix in my opinion like once you travel your brain really switches open especially if you've never done it before your brain literally switches and you're like whoa there's a whole ass world out here like what the heck so yeah that is something you guys definitely 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 should do trust me babes this is the perfect time for you to go take that one month trip to europe that you've been dying to do do it now but heartbreak is tough guys it is not fun at all but it is a part of life which is something that i've also learned you need heartbreak to reinvent yourself honestly because sometimes when life is too easy and everything is going too well like we can be trapped in this like this like rut of the same cycle same everything but when you get your heart broken you're kind of breaking that cycle and it's like kind of a shock to your system like this is different like bad different but it's different so it is like the perfect time to start being even more different but then shifting that negative different into a positive different because humans honestly we are not static creatures we are not meant to just be stuck in this rut that's honestly the main cause of people suffering with depression or like suicidal thoughts it's because they genuinely feel like life is so small and it can't get bigger than this but in reality it is so big and you just need to show yourself how big it is by breaking that cycle breaking that rut like we are a species built off of patterns and just routines but when we are too 
entrapped in those patterns and routines that's when they can honestly destroy us so it is good to have those routines and patterns but switch it up every now and then honestly you will get through this it might take a year it might take two years it might take a month it might take two months but you will get through this please 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 you have to want to get better though and if you do follow these steps i promise you you will forget about that person and you will have just a way better time in your life and if you need motivation if you need help subscribe to my channel don't do it for me do it for yourself because i will knock some sense into you and yeah life is so much bigger than that one person and you are so much better than that one person because you're you and they are them and i already like you so much better because you're watching my video so you're already a better person love you guys travel the world see everything okay bye